but for sheer down-to-earth reality, take a look in at Squatters Town, Chelford St Giles. This is only one of many ex-army camps taken over by the thousands of ordinary, hard-working folk who haven't a place they can call their own. Yesterday they were cold in hospitable huts. Today they're homes. A transformation which is in itself proof that the old blitz spirit lives on and can still win through. We know it's a controversial problem. And to tell you what the squatters themselves think of it all, we sent Pathy's reporter, John Parsons. Good afternoon, Mrs. Allen. Pathy News are very interested in the progress that you people are making here. And the first thing we'd like to know is, why did you come here in the first place? Uh, we came here because where we were before, we had two rooms. It was rather overcrowded. Being we only had one bedroom, it was very inconvenient. I see. In other words, you're very tired of living in overcrowded conditions and you wanted a place of your own. Yes, we are. What did your husband do, Mrs. Allen? He's a butcher's assistant. He was in the services during the war, wasn't yes, he? Yes, six years. He had four years in Burma. Mr. Mr. All the heads of the families in this community are, in fact, ex-servicemen. Yes. All ex-servicemen. For some seven years, I myself got 15. Mm. And Mrs. Clark, your husband, he's ex-serviceman? Yes, he had five and a half years in the services. And why did you come here? Because we were all in one bedroom, five of us. We had three children and the eldest one's 13. And uh, it wasn't right that she should be in the same bedroom as her daddy and I. We also had no sanitary arrangements and no lighting and we had to carry our water a hundred yards. There's nothing casual about it. Here's the squatters' town council busy on the day's agenda. Gentlemen, I've called you here this evening to discuss a few things that's happened this past week in the camp and also outside. Now, the first thing I want to mention to you is are you willing, all of you, to stand by me if the army authorities try to move me? Yes. 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 Definitely agree. That's one view of Squatter's Town. What's your opinion? 